just over it. Hello friends, welcome. I'm so thankful to have you here with me today. My name is Shawnee. I'm a military wife and flight attendant for a major US airline and I make weekly ish i try to make weekly videos about our crazy fun life and how i balance being a flight attendant and a military wife and and being healthy and being positive and navigating the hard times in our life and i would love for you to come and join the community if there's something that sparks your joy let's go Today is day two of our PCS moving journey to South Korea. Yesterday was our NTS, our household goods, everything that's going into our long-term storage for a follow-on. And today is going to be UAB, and that stands for unaccompanied baggage. Today, they are picking up the small amount of things that we are going to have shipped to Korea. Unaccompanied baggage, predicted that it would take about five to six weeks to get to Korea and since we're starting our PCS move a little bit earlier and then we're going back home to Wisconsin to visit it should arrive about the end of February early March so we should be in Korea for about a solid month without any of our things only the things that we are packing in our luggage that's all we'll have and the stuff that we're shipping prior. We only have a small limit of things we can bring. I believe it's only 500 pounds. Those 500 pounds add up really quickly. So it's just kind of like the bare minimum things that you use in your everyday life. You're not gonna be packing like your bed or your couch or anything in unaccompanied baggage. Even a TV is way too, our TV that we had is way too big to pack in unaccompanied baggage. Like I said before, we are moving from a small studio apartment in Washington, D.C., and we're gonna be moving into a Airbnb style, fully furnished, two bedroom, small apartment in Korea. Since it's fully furnished, we don't need a ton of our things. There are even like kitchen stuff there and whatnot, and I've connected with other people that are already there about what's already included. So I kind of know what to like pack in here. I know that was a big question, like, the stuff that we put in storage was pretty easy, but it's like, what do we bring to Korea? Like, especially for staying in this certain, like, housing, what do we need to bring, you know? Basically, I wanted to share our entire PCS journey to South Korea with you unaccompanied, just so that we can do it together, we can learn some things together, and hopefully it would help you out if you choose to go unaccompanied to South Korea. Today is just a vlog of unaccompanied baggage. I do plan on making a whole separate video later on and kind of listing out what did we pack, any tips, any tricks, a more informational video about unaccompanied baggage. But today is just kind of like a fun vlog a behind the scenes of us packing and moving to South Korea. My hair, okay. It's kind of looking like an updo, kind of not. We are almost at the apartment last night we stayed with my nanny family they're letting us stay there for a couple of days before we leave to milwaukee just because our household goods yesterday were picked up like our bed and stuff so we're staying there and then coming back to the apartment to finish up our move today is the unaccompanied baggage pickup well <laughs> the stuff that is going to korea so we're gonna sort through that today. What else are we doing today? We might go to Target. Oh, and then we might try to ship our own personal stuff there because it will get there faster. Yeah. Like, things then, that we'll need like right away. Yeah. But we don't want to take with us to like Milwaukee or anything. Yeah, that's the thing. And then we have the stuff from Milwaukee. But good thing we still have today, Saturday and Sunday before we have to officially be at the apartment. So we're just taking it day by day. So unaccompanied shipping, then grab our Milwaukee stuff and then clean the apartment. Friday what? The 13th? Is it? Yeah. Oh my god. It's it Friday. Is. It is Friday the 13th. Okay. It is January, Friday the 13th. And it is unaccompanied bag pickup. Baggage pickup. <laughs> um, this is what we have so far. And we still need to go through it. Donating and then shipping prior. So... It is about 8.20. They're coming from 9 to 12, between 9 to 12. So we're hoping they don't get here right at 9. So it gives us some time to 
go through everything and then i want to go through everything with you guys of what we plan on bringing this is what i have so far this is our smaller kitchen appliances we have our instapot rice maker our ninja bullet blender we have some of our throw blankets throw pillows comforter um, that is kind of like a little eating thing a steam mop a fan air purifier smaller fan we're gonna be putting our robo back here this is some of our like toiletries for the bathroom this is some of our like a glass storage containers this was actually supposed to go to household goods and we forgot to put it back with that so we had to figure out what we're going to do with that and there is all of that still to go through but we're making some progress baggage is done stuff that we're shipping before or coming with us we still have to go through like food and stuff and like we're gonna donate some of the food and then we're gonna give some of the food away so this is kind of the same paperwork that we had yesterday for our NTS except this is for the unaccompanied baggage they kind of do the same thing um, they list it out. I believe they did put, they did put the stickers on there, but, oh, maybe it's like this. I'm not exactly sure how they do the stickers, but you get a copy of this. They sign it, you sign it, and you keep this for your records. Literally the same thing that they did yesterday. We are so done with moving. We reached the point where we're just over it. We still have to pack up our stuff to go home, take some stuff to donations, and clean this entire apartment. We also need to do all of our car repairs, get that ready, finish some out processing stuff, take our car to storage, and we just decided we're done. We're just not gonna drag it out anymore. We're gonna try to power through today. Oh yeah, we have to ship out our stuff that we want to arrive to South Korea prior because that stuff from unaccompanied baggage that's going to South Korea doesn't arrive right away. So there's like a few things that we want shipped prior so it's there right when we get there. So we are washing all of that. We're just gonna try to power through so that we can just finish today and not really have to do much on the weekend. So. We'll see how that goes. I'm really tired. I hardly even slept last night. I think because I knew we had to do stuff, I just could not sleep. So we are just trying to power through. I have the Celsius that I've been getting into. And Evan is going to go do the donation stuff, pick up our stuff from Plato's Closet. And then he's going to come back and pick me up so we can go to Target to get a few things. And while he does that, I'm going to stay here, organize, and start cleaning the apartment. So we're going to split up to try to tackle some stuff so it doesn't take as long. And hopefully he can make it out before the DC traffic starts hitting because, gosh, we were stuck in traffic so long yesterday. And it just takes up so much of your time when you're trying to get stuff done when you're moving in a big city. One thing we learned is if you are scheduling unaccompanied baggage and then your NTS, the storage for your follow-on, for some reason it was the NTS, the storage, and then unaccompanied baggage, and we were trying to like switch those around just because we thought, okay, if there's stuff that we couldn't fit in unaccompanied baggage or didn't want, then we could keep it here and then do it when NTS comes. So today when we were going through our stuff for unaccompanied baggage, we found like so many random things that could have went to the household goods that we wanted to keep. So then we had to like take those certain things to South Korea and it's just a lot more extra stuff that we do not need in South Korea. But what were we going to do, you know, like can't leave it here. We can't pack it in our suitcase. So if I have a tip for you, it would be first to you would schedule your 
unaccompanied baggage first, get that all out, and then have them pick up the rest of those bigger household goods for your um, NTS storage. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you more. I love you the most. I love you the most is times ten. I love you the most times infinity times one. Ha! Who wins? I win. Look at that booty. <laughs> Let me see if I do it again. I really don't want to clean. You guys want to clean with me? Like, can you help me clean? Can you give me some motivation? Give me some motivation to clean this apartment. Actually, I, I normally do like cleaning. I'm not going to lie. If I have time, I love cleaning and organizing because I just love a clean space. But it's kind of different because I'm not cleaning to have a clean space for me to live in. I'm cleaning to leave. So I'm not as motivated, if you know what I'm saying. Where should we start? Should we start... In the kitchen, the bathroom. Should I do the baseboard? Should I do the windows? Like where where do you guys usually start? <sighs> we are starting to notice little things that we forgot to have movers pack. Like all of our cookbooks up there. So we're gonna have to pack those in our luggage. That's great. I am going to miss this view. I seriously love these big open windows. The whole wall is windows. And we love watching the airplanes. They're usually right here. And then the sunset is just so gorgeous. We would like sit on our couch and every night watch these sunsets. Only thing that sucks is obviously the highway. It gets really, really loud. But other than that, we really liked having these like huge open windows with the fresh air. I'm really gonna miss them, guys. I'm gonna miss the sunsets and the plains. Now, I'm going to make a matcha latte. Even though I already had one Celsius, I'm just so freaking tired. I'm so freaking pissed. So freaking pissed. What movie is that from? Okay, um, I feel like I always talk in movie lines which is really weird i like talking movie lines or i actually talk more in like music lyrics does anybody else do that my husband does a lot of the movie lines things because he's more into movies than i am i'm more into music okay making a matcha latte hopefully i can get a little bit done before we go to target i really want to get brand new sheets from target and yes i know i can order sheets once i get there or go to the bx but there's these specific target sheets that i love and I want to grab them and ship them out so they're there when we arrive. Oh, we have like no almond milk. We are skimping here. Skimping on the groceries, trying to make them last. Can you name a song that has groceries in it? With the word groceries? Name a song. Okay, pause. Either I'm trying to be like creative or I'm trying to procrastinate from cleaning. But comment down below a song that has the term groceries in it so I can use it for the next time if I say groceries. And if you win, I will shout you out in the next video, shout you out that you gave me the idea. I think that's so perfect. Do it. Do it. Comment below. I will say whatever lyric that has the word groceries in it for you. I'll say it word for word and I'll shout you out. I'm tired. 
am so loopy. I did not finish cleaning the apartment. Uh, we came to Target to grab, what do we get? Bath towels, hand towels, dish towels, uh, washcloths, and like bed sheets. Cause we're putting that in the box to ship over to Korea. So it's already there. We already have our own things once we land. We are both tired. We're gonna go probably get some tacos. Oh. Tacos. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You know you like Oh that. God, I have like the silly, like behind that, that camera, ladies and gentlemen. Is, is a, a beaut. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say very awkward woman. Mm -hmm. She is very silly, and you y'all don't really know it that much. Yeah, they don't. They know kind of me, but not like me. Me. Oh Hopefully no, <laughs> they, they don't know know you. <laughs> I know know you. Okay, I, I was like, shocked. <laughs> Why were you shocked? <laughs> because you were all like, mm, "My name is Shawnee. I'm so beautiful, and I model, and I work hard, and I." Do all of this and that, and then you're all like, da, 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 da. <laughs> "Is that was that being weird?" <laughs> yeah. Da, da, da. Oh god, I just love that her silly self now. Oh, you love it? I do. Oh, I hate when that voice comes out on camera. Checking to see if I got a cola for February. A cola means a special like leave of absence, and I want to get that so that. The whole month of February, I don't have to worry about flying back to DC from South Korea to work, and we can just get settled into our home and not have to really worry about it. Mm, okay, uh, let's see. I don't know if it's gonna tell me yet, though. Yeah, baby! I got it! <laughs> okay. What? Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah! Maybe I should have thought about that beforehand. Maybe I should have did a cute, like, yay! <laughs> that was insane, baby. <laughs> Sorry. That was not a, was that cute. No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah! <laughs> okay, you do it and I'm gonna mouth it. Like, yeah, baby, yeah! Oh. <laughs> okay, in all seriousness. Okay, my face is red because we're in the car there's traffic and that's someone's lights but I am so excited okay January I was granted a cola and February I was granted a cola and I just found out right now and usually those are like by seniority I'm fairly new I'm only about a year in and that's that's still new in flight attendant world and usually seniors are vi seniors usually colas are very senior so I, I can't believe I got it <laughs> that means I literally don't have to work, um, not work, because I still work, but literally I don't have to worry about flying at all in February. Like, we can just go to Korea, be together, get settled in, get accustomed, come up with a plan if I have to come back in March. I was really stressed about that, because if I would have had to work during this move across the world, that would have been insane. But how are you feeling, babe? Are you excited? You get to have me again for a whole month. <laughs> a whole month? Oh, I thought I was getting a month off. Mm. <laughs> you will get a month off sometime. Yeah, sometime, I'm... but I just don't know when. Fuck yeah, baby, fuck yeah. No, I'm happy that she's, well, for one, I hate moving. So the nice thing is, is that she's going to be there to help me with That's true. moving into the apartment if I can live in that apartment. We're still not sure about my situation yet, but yeah. one step in the right direction. Yeah, baby! <laughs> um, we're just tired, so I think we're just very hyper. Um, <laughs> you know when you're like almost gonna be tired and you keep acting silly? That's how we feel. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, that means, <laughs> that means you guys get more of me. I get to make more YouTube videos and not have to worry so much and I can just crank out YouTube videos, film the whole process of going to South Korea, film me like getting our house together, house tour. Are you guys excited with me? We get to hang out more together. I'm so flippin', I can just scream out the window. Should I scream out the window? 
I don't you dare me. I don't I don't dare you. I don't think it's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> We're not in like a bad area. I know, but I just what if somebody gets the wrong idea and you're like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs>